guilt. One thing with punishment is that dads often feel guilt afterwards because, let's face it, nobody wants to do it. It's not fun and it takes discipline in and of itself just to do discipline, right? If we're lazy, we just let our kids do whatever they want and not discipline them. It takes effort. And when we do it, I know when I punish my son, for example, sometimes I feel guilty afterwards, especially if I've done it badly, right? Well, I think sometimes, and specifically in my case, where I travel quite a bit, I'm gone because of my vocation, I'm on the road speaking, or I'm, I'm working because I'm so passionate about what I do, I think one tendency I have as a father is when I do get home, the last thing I really want to do is discipline my daughter because I, there's a sense of guilt. And the guilt is I've been gone. I've been away. And so uh, where, where we might disagree with Natalie and I, she's with her all day, every day. So she's the disciplinarian. She holds her accountable. And, and so when I come home, the last thing I want to do is come home and fuss and argue and get on to my daughter because, you know, there's a, there's a sense of, hey, I haven't been here all day. And, I, and, and so I have to work on that. I have to work on being both a disciplinarian, but also uh, balancing those two things because I think it's easy for dads to do, specifically if they work a lot, to come home and be lenient on their children, which really is not setting them up and it creates an inconsistency in the household. Just remember that leniency creates inconsistencies and it has to be done. Don't be lawless or permissive just because you feel guilt. I hope this course has given you a lot of ideas in regard to punishment. There's lots of different ways you can discipline your kid. Just remember, if you have to punish, do so with grace. Empathize with their feelings. Think about where you might not be connecting. Good luck, dads.